so today's video is about the um, GHQ build that will be coming up so I just received this parcel today in the post and I think I probably said I'll never do an unboxing video but here's one it's come all the way from Wisconsin so I ordered them directly from the GHQ website um, let's have a look at what we got So GHQ Micro Armor, I'm gonna do a modern pre-1949, I call modern, so anything after the Second World War, and just build a few models from that range. So this is what we get in our box. So the first thing is Coming soon, some equipment that GHQ are going to be putting out. Very cool. And we've got a little thank you note from GHQ models and what I ordered. So if you can see that. Some Heinz, some Hueys. So there's some helicopters, some BTRs, and you know, APCs and 113s, T72, deployed bridges, some guns, some Abrams, some T90s. So I think there's another order on its way as well. So this is the other side of that blank. So that's just the invoice. GHQ has sent a catalogue. Just all their products. They do some some great stuff. Modern World War Two uh, Navy ships. So really good, and we might have a flick through that in another video. I've also sent some. Tack News. A recap of Australia in the 20th century. So, must be because I'm from Australia and I ordered from Australia. They've sent me a little spill on Australia, or maybe they send that to everyone. And on the back, it's got TO and E for the Australian Brigade and Task Force 1970s and 60s and Australian Task Force 1980s and above. So that's pretty cool. Some, some newspaper. Yeah, the, yeah, the good stuff that we ordered. The first one that comes out is the T90s. And we'll open this up along with some of the other stuff when we start to build it and paint it. So T90s. This is, this is a bridge system I ordered from them. So you get the little side rails, some pontoon stuff. And it's just gaming terrain. So we're going to build a little a war gaming table for it. Next one is our Abrams. They look pretty cool too. And GHQ for such a small model do quite good detailing on their models. Next one is M198 guns to get two trucks two guns deployed, two guns getting towed. And I already have some M198 guns, so we'll add that to that set. Next, we've got the M46 130mm Soviet howitzers. And again, they come with two gun tractors, two deployed guns, two towed guns. And I think I have some of them lying around as well that we'll add to the set when we build it.
Uh, T72 deployed bridges, so they're quite big for the scale. And they look very, very cool. So T72 deployed bridges. M113s, APCs, widely exported, widely used by lots of countries. And I've got them in 15 millimeter as well. So we'll do a comparison video at some stage, plus the assembly of these and how I paint them up. BTR 80s. And I've got some BTR 60s in, in 15 millimeter that we're gonna do later on, like just showing, adding detail to them. So we'll do a comparison with them as well, so. Although the BTR 80 in real life probably a little bit bigger than the BDR 60, but we can still do a bit of a comparison. The Hueys. So they're similar to the Hueys I'm doing now for that Vietnam build, the Vietnam Huey. So they're very cool. A hind D SAU hundred and twenty two millimeter howitzers. So they're seen in Ukraine too now in twenty twenty two and they'd be excellent. When we get them painted up and have a good look at them. And then the last thing in the box is another hind. So we'll paint them up and they'll look excellent. So that's the next series of videos that will be coming up soon. We'll have, a, have a fair bit there. A couple of hinds, the bridges, all that sort of stuff will unbox and have a look at so it's gonna be an up-and-coming series of videos and it's a pretty pretty substantial number to build that's them all laid out plus the the bridge and the invoice for the order and of course the GHQ Wargaming catalogue which is excellent as well. Thanks for watching.